My name is Carl Monaghan. I'm a pelvic pain therapist based in London, England. This short video will instruct you how to treat and relax tight pelvic floor muscles for patients suffering with type 3 non-bacterial prostatitis and chronic pelvic pain syndrome, or CPPS. Pelvic floor muscles form a hammock or sling which support the organs of the pelvis above, including the bladder, the colon, and the prostate. These muscles attach at the front to the pubic bone, pass through the legs, and attach at the tailbone and coccyx behind. They're best accessed through the rectum. The Therawand is a handheld, ergonomically designed massage tool made from FDA approved medical grade acrylic. It has been manufactured to the strictest ISO standards. Its simple S shape is perfect for males suffering with chronic pelvic pain and non-bacterial prostatitis. It is easy to insert with the minimum stress and strain to you. The premium Therawand is slightly narrower than the essential Therawand and in my opinion is best suited for the treatment of male pelvic pain. Gently tapered at one end, it is easy to insert via the rectum, while three small balls at the opposite end allow for greater control and comfort. Using a simple clock face, we will accustom ourselves to the geography of the pelvic floor and locate a number of trigger points. Trigger points are tight bands of muscles or fascia that when pressed upon, refer discomfort to other areas of the body. Once released, these trigger points can uh, provide a great sense of relaxation to the areas affected. There are a number of trigger points found in the pelvic floor that are indicated in the treatments of type three non-bacterial prostatitis and chronic pelvic pain syndrome, or CPPS. Using the Therawand is simple, but preparation is key. Lie on your back in a reclined position with your upper body supported. Knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. Apply a generous amount of water-soluble lubrication to the tapered end of the Therawand. Do not use warming or sensation increasing lubrication as they can be irritating to the pelvic floor. Reach down alongside and behind you and gently insert the Therawand into the rectum. The centre of the clock is where your rectum is and where the Therawand is now inserted. Towards your penis and testicles at 12 o'clock you'll find your prostate and at 6 o'clock towards the surface you're lying on you'll find your tailbone. Trigger points that refer to the tip and shaft of the penis, the bladder and the urethra are located at 11 and 1 o'clock. Trigger points that refer to the perineum and a fullness in the prostate can be found between 9 and 8 and 3 and 4. Trigger points for post bowel movement pain and discomfort are located at 5 and 7 on the clock face, whereas trigger points for a golf ball sensation in the rectum can be found between 9 and 10 and 3 and 2. When treating these trigger points it is important to use a listening touch. Do not press as hard as you can and do not thrust the Therawand. Instead use a pain scale with 0 being no pain or sensation at all and 10 being the most painful do not take the pain levels up beyond a six. To locate the trigger point, slide the wand down the pelvic floor towards the rectum, searching for tender and tight locations. Once found, gently increase your pressure and see if they refer to those aforementioned locations. If they do, maintain the pressure until that sensational referral dissipates. When using the Therawand to massage the prostate, where necessary, it's always important to consult with your chronic pelvic pain therapist. Cleaning of the Therawand is essential for maintenance of the Therawand. Once removed, wash the Therawand in warm water and soap or a natural disinfectant. Never use alcohol to clean the Therawand. My advice to you 
would be to use a TheraOne for no more than five minutes per day to relax and release tight muscles in the pelvic floor and these trigger points. Start off slow and gentle, accustom yourself with the geography of the pelvic floor and when confident, use the pain scale, never taking your pain and discomfort beyond the level six. So, to recap, make yourself comfortable. Apply a generous amount of water soluble lubrication to the tapered end of the TheraOne. Stroke down the wall of the pelvic floor towards the rectum, locating trigger points. Once you've found the trigger points, then use a pain scale to treat them, never taking your discomfort or pain above a six. Once you've finished, remove the TheraOne and wash thoroughly. My patients take the greatest steps towards their recovery away from the treatment room. Taking ownership of your symptoms is key to your success. Used as part of an integrated home care program, the TheraOne is an essential tool for any male suffering with type three non-bacterial prostatitis and chronic pelvic pain syndrome or CPPS. For more information on the TheraOne, please follow them on social media or visit their website at therawan.com.